All right, we're gonna talk about the dramatic conveyor system. First, I'm gonna power it down. And we're gonna see we're gonna lose power on the VFD, we're gonna to have to power it up, and then we're gonna go through the system. So the first thing you wanna do are two things. One's off camera a little bit lower to my left is the pneumatic valve you're gonna to have to turn on. Then you wanna turn on the main power. The system's gonna come up, but we're noticing the VFD doesn't have power, and you may be able to see that the processor does. We have to go over to the e-stop station. It's illuminated saying this e-stop station is the one that has it. It's also the only e-stop button we have on this system. Make sure that this button is out, and then push the reset. At that time, you might have heard the main e-stop come in, and uh, we're, we're ready to go, we've got power. Up here, we've got our processor, we've got our HMI. I'm gonna start it up and point out some things as it runs. First thing that starts is the belt. Then we're gonna see, let's point down here just a little bit. We see this system's running, but it never lifted up because I never brought on the air, and now it travels around. On the back side, there's active rollers. I'm gonna stop it here. We can see the current. We can see status of the photo eyes. So if we see that screen, it'll change as we're working things. Speed, a couple outputs, time, and back to the main screen. So to start this, you wanna be able to make sure you have the air on. Then you wanna make sure you have the power on then pull out the e-stop, hit reset, and run it from the front panel. For your bugs, mostly, you're just going to be using this screen, going through the different choices, and we'll get into the prints in a different video.